Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. I'm Mariah. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel, where I'm discussing health, detoxification, and how to heal thyself. So today's video is going to be the beginning of myself reading the Mucusless Diet Healing System by Arnold Errett. Um, and I will do this in however many videos it takes, 20 minute increments. And the reason for this is because a lot of the people that I speak with uh, through consultations and otherwise, um, I'm always recommending this book. And uh, clients are always, you know, searching it out on audiobooks. And uh, it's a terrible version uh, um, on audiobooks. And it's just not something that uh, anybody wants to listen to, apparently. So I'm going to uh, update this um, version on my own channel here. So I've got the Mucusless Diet Healing System by Arnold Era, written in the early 1900s. This book I absolutely recommend if you wish to gain a full understanding of our human dietary needs and how to go about healing the body um, through a systematic approach using dietary and lifestyle um, protocols. So I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to skip the introduction. I'm going to start with, uh, what should I start with here? The general introduction. Okay. So general introductory principles. I'm starting on page 11. Uh, lesson one, every disease, no matter what name it is known by medical science is constipation. A clogging up of the entire pipe system of the human body. Any special symptom is therefore merely an extraordinary extraordinary local constipation by more accumulated mucus at this particular place. Special accumulation points are the tongue, the stomach, and particularly the di entire digestive tract. This last is the real and deeper cause of bowel constipation. The average person has so much as 10 pounds of uneliminated feces in the bowels continually poisoning the bloodstream and the entire system. Think of it. Every sick person has a more or less mucus clogged system, such mucus being derived from undigested and uneliminated unnatural food substances accumulated from childhood on. Details regarding this fact may be learned by reading my rational fasting and regeneration diet, my mucus theory and mucusless diet healing system, which is what we're reading. They stand unshaken. It has proven the most successful. Compensation action, in quotations, so-called cure against every kind of disease. By its systematic application, thousands of declared incurable patients could be saved. The mucusless diet consists of all kinds of raw cooked fruit, raw and cooked fruit, starchless vegetables, and cooked or raw, mostly green leaf vegetables. The mucusless diet healing system is a combination of individually advised long or short fasts with progressively changing menus of non-mucus forming foods. This diet alone can heal every case of disease without fasting, although such a cure requires longer time. The system itself will be expounded in later lessons. However, to learn how to apply the system, to understand how and why it works, it is necessary to free your mind from medical errors, partly taken over by naturopathy. In other words, I must teach you a new physiology, free from medical errors, a new method of diagnosis, a correction of the fundamental errors of metabolism, high protein foods, blood circulation, blood composition, and last but not least, you must be taught, and last but not least, you must be taught. That was it. So what vitality really is. To medical science, the human body is still a mystery, especially in diseased condition. Every new disease discovered by the doctors is a new mystery for them. There are no words to properly express how far from the truth they actually are. 
Naturopathy uses the word vitality continually, yet neither medical scientists nor naturopaths can tell what vitality is. Not only is it necessary to eradicate all of these errors from your brain, but the truth must be shown but the truth must be shown you in such a new and simple light that you can grasp it at once. The great advantage of simplicity and clarity is one of the fundamental reasons for my success. With all, my teachings cover the truth. Incidentally, whatever simple reason cannot grasp is humbug, however scientific it may sound. You will learn how wrong and ignorant it is to believe that any special disease can be healed by eating the right food, living upon special menus, or undergoing long fasts. If such is done without experience and without system and special advice for each individual case. Fasting has been known for hundreds of years as compensation against every disease, as nature's only infallible law. And the same applies to the mucusless diet, as stated in Genesis. Fruits and herbs, i.e. green leaves. But why has it never come into general use and resultant universal success? Because it was never used systematically in accordance with the condition of the patient. The average man has not the slightest idea where the necessary eliminative process is, what time it requires, how and how often as diet must be changed, what it means to cleanse the body of the terrible quantities of waste he has accumulated in his body during his life. Disease is an effort of the body to eliminate waste, mucus, and toxemias. And this system assists nature in the most perfect and natural way, not the disease, but the body is to be healed. I have somebody coming by, I guess they're early, so I'm just gonna end it here. <laughs> My dog's barking. Um, but I do wanna say, that no matter where you're at, you can uh, begin healing your body from where you're at and healing requires a systematic approach which takes time and patience and a full understanding. And from there, as long as you're not focusing on every little sy symptom that arises, you can heal yourself. It's, it's not rocket science. It just takes time. You have to be willing to invest years. In fact, it's just a lifestyle change. So if you um, have the drive and the willpower and the understanding, anyone can heal anything. And I'm living proof, I mean, and so I began my journey with, uh, you know, the mucusless diet, and uh, I still fall back to the mucusless diet healing principles. I, 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 Go, I navigate in and out of fruit fasts and fruit cleanses and, and juice cleanses and, and short fasts. I fast one day a week, you know. So it's just working it, it's just working it. Just like it took time to build your disease, you know, you're working it, working it, eating a donut here, eating some animal, animal flesh there, eating some dairy here and there, you know, and disease slowly built. Well, now we have to slowly walk backwards and unwind what we did and entice the body to eliminate the waste that is built up within that continues to plague you and continues to wreak havoc on your health until you get the stuff out. And it's not that easy to get out. It doesn't just come out on its own when you're just chock full of mucus and toxemias and, and all this waste within. So um, I wanted to finish it. I'm pretty sure somebody's, I'm pretty sure they're co coming by, but maybe I should just finish up I've only got a couple paragraphs here so it says uh, where was I fasting has been known for hundreds of years as compensation against every disease we read that part disease is an effort of the body to eliminate waste mucus and toxemias so I just want to reiterate that um, my system is not a cure or a remedy it is a regeneration a thorough house cleaning, the acquisition of such clean and perfect health as you never knew before. Remember, your constitutional encumbrances throughout the entire system are the source of every disease, the greatest and most harmful source of lowered vitality, imperfect health, lack of strength and endurance, and any and all imperfect conditions. All have their source in the colon, never perfectly emptied, 
since your birth. Nobody on earth today has an ideally clean body and therefore perfectly clean blood. What medical science calls normal health is in fact path a pathological condition. In summa, the human mechanism is an elastic pipe system. The diet of civilization is never entirely digested and the resultant waste eliminated. This entire pipe system is slowly constipated, especially at the place of the symptom and the digestive tract. This is the foundation of every disease. To loosen this waste, eliminate it intelligently and thoroughly, and to control this elimination can only be done perfectly by the mucusless diet healing system. And so that's why, uh, you know, people who jump into all fruits or all raw without really understanding um, the, the amount of waste that we have in the body and how it requires a systematic approach to eliminating it, often um, experience issues. Um, so it looks like they're not here yet. I may be able to get in another, another paragraph. <clears throat> I have latent, acute, and chronic diseases, no longer a mystery. And this is lesson two. The first lesson has now given you an insight as to what disease actually is. In addition to mucus and its taxemias in the system, there are other foreign matters such as uric acid, toxins, etc. And especially drugs if ever used. I learned through the years of practical experience that drugs are never eliminated as is the waste from foods, but are stored up in the body for decades. Hundreds of cases have come under my observation where drugs taken 10, 20, 30, and even 40 years were expelled together with mucus through this perfect healing system. This is a fact of basic importance, especially for the practitioner. When these chemical poisons after being dissolved are taken back into the circulation for elimination through the kidneys, the nerves and heart are affected, causing extreme nervousness, dizziness, and excessive heartbeats, as well as other strange sensations. The uninformed stands before a mystery and probably calls the family doctor who now diagnoses a condition as a heart disease and blames the lack of food instead of the drugs he prescribed 10 years ago. The average normal man considers healthy, uh, the average normal man considered healthy has a chronic stored up accumulation of waste, food, poisons, and drugs. So I just want to say that for myself, um, I had taken a lot of pharmaceuticals in my past. Um, I had a bad car accident. I was loaded up on T3s and ended up getting addicted to those at like 17 years old. I was just taking them like candy. Um, there's so many other pharmaceuticals I was taking such as just Tylenol and Advil continually because I had these harsh migraines all the time and headaches, which I no longer experience because I've taken the time um, to go through and eliminate all these drug wastes and uh, matters and and my disease forming toxemia within um, you know I'm into year eight now I believe on a healthy vegan diet is how I refer to it but a mucusless diet more or less with uh, many periods of um, like I said, fasting, fruit fasting, fruit cleanses, all, you know, but I took a systematic approach to it. I knew at the beginning that it was going to take time and that's why, you know, I uh, went through each step and enjoyed each step and knew that I would move past each step onto an either even healthier step as you go. Because like I said, and like Arnold Eric says, it's a systematic approach um, to health it doesn't just happen overnight you need to take things in steps but for that to happen you have to understand where you're going and why you're going there and how you're going to get there so you need to have you know a bit of a plan um these are very short little paragraphs here i think i have time it's 14 minutes in to read this is his latent disease when these latent disease matters are occasionally stirred up for instance by a cold he expels great quantities of mucus and feels unhappy instead of enjoying nature's cleaning process. 
If the quantity of loosened mucus is great enough to shock the entire system, more or less, sorry, more of less, but still not dangerous, it may be diagnosed as influenza. If the eliminating work of nature digs deeper into the system, especially into that important organ, the lungs, so much mucus and poisons are loosened at once that the circulation has to work under great friction, similar to a dirty machine, or for example, an automobile running with its brakes set. The friction produces abnormal heat, which is called fever, and the doctors call it pneumonia, which is really a feverish effort on nature's part to free the most vital organ from its waste. If the kidneys are called upon to eliminate this loosened mucus, thereby shocking this organ, it is called nephritis, etc., etc. In other words, whenever nature endeavors to save a human life through her efforts to eliminate feverishly mucus and its toxic products, it is called acute disease. So basically he's saying that, you know, it doesn't matter what the disease name is, it's the body is trying to eliminate mucus and toxemias and depending on how deep the body's going, you know, it could be just labeled influenza, it's a simple flu or cold or a flu, or it could be labeled, you know, pneumonia if the body's going real deep. But what's the real killer when people do go to the hospital, say with pneumonia, for example? It's not the pneumonia itself. The patient was left to his own devices. The patient uh, would li likely heal. Um, what it is, is it's the treatment. <laughs> I know, I know, but it is. It's the treatment that uh, tends to um, harm further or even uh, kill. So <laughs> I'm always the bearer of bad news, aren't I? So I will start in the next video, acute disease. Actually, I could finish that because then it goes on to chapter lesson three, the diagnosis. So acute disease quickly and 17 minutes in. The medical profession has over 4,000 names for different ailments. The, de the uh, derivation of the particular or special name of the disease is made up according to the respective local place of elimination or pertains to the congested point where the bloodstream finds it difficult of passage and causes pain such as pains in the joints, as in cases of rheumatism, for example. For ages, this well-meaning effort and intended self-healing work of nature has been misunderstood and suppressed through the agency of drugs and loss of appetite. Notwithstanding the help of the doctors, help, in fact, often injurious and dangerous to the patient's life. His vitality and especially his eliminating abilities are lowered and, nature's, and nature proceeds slowly. Under this handicap, nature cannot work as efficiently, requiring more time, and the case is then called chronic. The word chronic is derived from the Greek word chromos, meaning time. You will be taught in supplement to diagnosis, that's lesson three and five, more about this mystery. So I will continue the diagnosis in the next video. Actually, maybe I'll try to just whip off the next video now in a sec separate section. So if you'd like to work with me on uh, gaining some guidance and insight on how to heal your uh, health issues and how to get on the road towards health, please message me and I will be happy to do so. I book uh, one hour consultations and uh, I'd be happy to try and help you out. I mean, I seem to be finding quite um, a lot of success and I do find that a lot of the people that I speak with are, are really happy um, with with our conversation and it kind of helps uh, give them you know a, a new um, newfound understanding and motivation to continue on because we don't necessarily have to be all fruits in order to heal but we do have to understand how to eat um, and, and when to eat that's also important um, in order to, and what to eat, in order to eliminate um, this, this uh, disease matter within for a healthier you. So, I'll see you in the next video.